Hi guys, in this video I'll get you really quickly from uh, not being connected to a Topcon GPS receiver to being connected to a GPS network of your choice of course in this case in my case I'm using Topcon's uh, Topnet Live network and I'm also using a Topcon Hyper VR uh, GNSS receiver it, this process should work the same on any other GPS receiver from Topcon in Sakia actually um, the first prerequisite that nowadays you have to do uh, it's not a hundred percent uh, requirement for everybody but typically it is you have to connect your data collector to internet so what I'll do I'll actually find my internet connection over here I'll hit that I'll hit connect and as long as I get a successful connection to my internet I know my data collector is connected and I can access the network so I'll go now that my computer my data collector is connected I'll hit new job I'll call this hyper ER network one and uh, it already uh, is looking at uh, starting my hyper vr network configuration these configurations are loaded by your dealer or yourself or from the factory uh, there's going to be a separate video on how you actually set up these settings but i have the settings correct hit next uh, this is where if you're going to be using a uh, state plane coordinate system I happen to be in Maryland so you'll choose it here if your mm, projection isn't uh, in the drop down you can always hit the little triple dot and uh, find your state under the state plane 83 coordinate system or whichever you choose and then when you select it you can hit the little arrow right to actually populate this because this is the drop down that is uh, active so um, these are where uh, those can be uh, added or removed from um, an important note in the datum by default all of the states default to net 83 2011 which is again not bad in some cases but on the uh, topcon topnet live network uh, this is definitely wrong you actually have to switch it to net 83 no trans so remember this has to see say net 83 no trans if you don't want to have uh, issues with your horizontal and vertical positions the difference between 2011 and no trans is uh, about three to four feet in arbitrary look uh, direction so i can't tell you exactly which way but there's about a, uh, that much of an inverse between the two points if you were to use the same coordinate same spot but different uh, datum so net 83 no trans is what you want to have on the uh, maryland state plane uh, coordinate system uh, while connected to Topcons and I happen to know it's the same uh, condition with Leica's network and also with a Trimble network so this is still a requirement to do so uh, geoid model uh, of your choice I am still using 2018 or 2012 2018 is out there but you know, the difference is about a hundredth of a foot so I'm I don't have it yet but again if you have then make sure that this is 2018 instead of 2012 all right hit next I'll be using US survey feet. That's correct. Hit OK. Uh, Northern Easting elevation is correct. And we'll just hit the green check. So now the canvas for the job is set up. And what I want to do is actually want to connect to my GNSS uh, receiver now. Um, I don't know which one it is. I have two set up, but I'll hit connect. And by virtue of actually having the data collector. Uh, search for the receivers I will verify that the serial number of the unit that I actually want to connect to is the one that comes up over here so we should be connecting to let's go hit this guy hit OK connect and we will connect to the hyper VR now this first connection is just a Bluetooth connection to the unit itself it isn't yet connecting to the internet and to the actual uh, network provider so this is where if uh, internet is ex available uh, your uh, magnet field will actually pull up the available mount points and again there are a couple of mount points don't get confused by too many of them over here but really it's typically in, in today's world I'm using only these two I'm using the net RTK RTCM3 or the RTK RTCM3 um, mount point the difference between them are the messages are the same RTCM3 and RTCM3 but the net RTK is a uh, modeled solution from uh, multiple base stations so an equivalent to VRS correction it's not a physical base station whereas the RTK one is a single base nearest base station correction and uh, there's a base station near us about three and a half miles away so I'll just pick this 
and uh, if I'm happy I'll hit connect it should say connected and if I'm connected and also receiving corrections I should this doesn't always come up this message but it should say base station was updated from corrections uh, that just tells you that there's data coming into the rover uh, from a source and in this case it's internet so we'll go home I'll go into survey I'll go into topo and if I'm successfully connected I will have a fixed height hopefully horizontal vertical uh, low uh, residual over here meaning high precision um, if I want to verify that it's really connected to the base station that's nearby uh, you can go into status and you'll see that it says base distance 3.59 miles and that is correct for our location um, if you just want to see where the actual position is rather than looking at just the text you can go into the map view and if the map is not showing it's easy to just hit the little if this uh, the, the the menu option isn't available or the toolbar isn't available click the map screen go into your uh, typically the background over here hit the no sources selected here and just predefine your choice of maps uh, you, you use the Bing hybrid map hit OK hit OK if you have internet again it should pull it up and this is where the actual position of the um, uh, rover is uh, occasionally some guys ask me you know if I can adjust the height of the pole this is where I can actually say hey today I'm at 1.5 meters you can hit that and it automatically switches and you can see the height actually changes so this is 31 meters or 31.6 feet right now if I had it on a 2 meter pole we should go a little bit lower right it'll say 29 30 feet so this is a live connection uh, it's a very windy day today so I actually have it at the 1.5 meter height which I could have just typed in 4.92 but uh, just shows you that even metric uh, values while in feet uh, can be converted on the fly um, if you're finished uh, with all of your surveying or your stakeout it's always a good idea to actually do a graceful disconnect the graceful disconnect means when you go into the connect tab there's going to be a couple of tabs here first tab that it prompts you to actually disconnect is your network tab so that should drop your internet connection and the connection to your server but it will not drop your bluetooth connection to the gps receiver uh, the enterprise thing is only if you're connected to the cloud service that Topcon provides you for again another uh, service fee I'm not connected to it but the general tab is the tab where you're actually disconnecting the Bluetooth from the GPS receiver so I'll hit disconnect that way the GPS is released the network is not used and if you want to if you're using metered connections on your devices in the field you may want to disconnect at this point from the Wi-Fi network or from the cell phone connection if you happen to have a cell phone connection running um, that's it hopefully this was a useful video and if you have any questions or comments leave them below